Good afternoon and welcome to today's session of Imagine America Radio, our continuing Career College Exposition webinar series. My name is Lee Doubleday and I'm the Director of Operations here at the Imagine America Foundation. I'm excited about today's topic, STEM careers and workforce training with Midwest Technical Institute and Delta Technical College. Midwest Technical Institute and Delta Technical College have six campuses located throughout the states of Illinois, Mississippi, and Missouri, and is one of this country's leading provider of quality, high quality career focused education. Midwest Technical Institute and Delta Technical College are also partners of the Imagine America Foundation. So your high school seniors can now apply for a scholarship through the Imagine America Foundation to intend the institutions we're gonna be discussing today. Without taking valuable time from our presenter, let me refer any and all inquiries about the Imagine America Foundation and our scholarship programs to our website, which is www.imagine-america.org. But since our beginning in 1999, Imagine America remains a leading sponsor of scholarship aid to enrolling high school students. However, our country faces a serious shortage in certified technicians. We hear from employers in virtually all sections of the country desperately looking for qualified employees, so we need to do more. A partner in today's presentation again is Midwest Technical Institute and Delta Technical College and joining us today to discuss in detail the looming technician shortage and how Midwest Tech and Delta Tech are helping meet this need is Louis Schoenauer. Louis is the Director of High School Admissions and has been working with high schools for years now so you're in good hands today. But before turning the program over to Louis, let me outline today's agenda. Today's session of Imagine America Radio will be 30 minutes maximum with question and answers at the end of the presentation. All participants can and are encouraged to submit questions while the presentation is in session via the Q&A or the chat feature in this Zoom meeting. At the end of the presentation or approximately 2.25, I will then present any questions offered by the participants and we'll address as many questions as possible and provide written responses and follow-up emails if necessary. But we will have a hard close at 2.30 p.m. So without taking any more time out of today's presentation, let me turn today's session over to Louie. Louie, the floor is yours. Thank you, Lee. Um, and to get things started here, sorry, I was clicking through there, guys. Again, my name is Louis Schoenauer, and I am the Director of High School Admissions here at Midwest Technical Institute in Delta Technical College. Uh, as Lee said there earlier, I have a lot of great and exciting things I would like to share with you guys today. Uh, first thing starting off with is a little bit about our brief history, uh, you know, kind of who we are, um, a little bit about us, you know, what we do here, but as well as, you know, kind of really talk about some of those really big key core um, advantages, we like to really say, you know, that we have going here for our students here at MTI and DTC. Uh, but I'd also like to kind of talk to you a little bit about how we partner with you guys as a school, um, you know, as teachers, counselors, administrators. Um, but as you can read here is our mission statement, which it states, our mission is to offer workforce training that will provide graduates with the skills necessary to gain entry-level employment in their chosen field. Uh, again, this can be a big thing I'm going to talk about here today, which I'm going to dive into in just a little bit. But to start things off, uh, I want to tell you guys a little about who we are, you know, where we're from, uh, and again, kind of how we got started. Um, so again, we very first started off as just strictly as a welding school, uh, and were founded in 1995 by two former welders, Brian Huff and Mike Casper, uh, which they opened their door to a welding trade school again here in Lincoln, Illinois, uh, to offer commercial pipe weld training. As you guys can see there at the top, Brian Huff, he is actually currently still to this day, is our CEO, as well as an original co-founder, as well as Mike Casper, who is below him, uh, who is another original co-founder uh, and vice president of welding here at Midwest Technical Institute and Delta Technical College. But shortly after 1995, when we just had that one program, uh, is when MTI very, received its very first accreditation through the Accrediting Commission of Career Schools and Colleges uh, in May of 1999 which we are held to a high standard, such as placing more than 70% of our graduates in their field of study, which I'm gonna get into here in just a second. But then shortly after 1999 uh, is when we actually brought in our second program, which is our HVAC-R uh, technician program, which stands for again for heating, ventilation, air conditioning, uh, still there at our Lincoln facility. Then shortly after in 2003, we actually added a whole bunch of different programs here uh, to Midwest Technical Institute. Uh, which brought into our medical assisting program, our massage therapy, our dental assisting, medical coding, as well as the basic nursing assistant followed shortly after. But in that short time frame there, and then again in 2004, is when we actually opened our very first campus outside of Lincoln, uh, which opened up in August 2004, uh, which is our, in, our South, in South Haven, Mississippi, uh, with schools called Delta Technical College. But then shortly after in 2004, 
uh, in 2007, a few years later, we actually outgrew that facility we had there in Lincoln, Illinois, where we actually moved our main campus to Springfield, Illinois, in which we built a brand new 55,000 square foot building to accommodate the growing amount of our students, as well as the programs that we had here to offer at Midwest Central Institute. But then shortly after, in 2009, we actually relocated from that original place in 2004 in South Haven, Mississippi, where we moved just a few miles away in Horn Lake, Mississippi, uh, which again was, we, was bigger than our previous campus, but again, with the growth of students and the amount of programs we were adding on uh, is when we um, built that second school there, excuse me, rebuilt that first school uh, in Delta Technical College. But then shortly after in 2009, as you can see, we got pretty busy. Uh, within March of 2009, we built our second Illinois campus, which is in East Peoria, Illinois. Then on May of 2011, it was our third campus, uh, which is located in Moline, Illinois. And then in January of 2012, we actually um, had our second um, Delta Technical College camp added, which is held in Ridgeland, Ridgeland, Mississippi. And then in January of 2013, we actually opened up our one and only campus uh, in Springfield, Missouri. But if you fast forward from there 10 years later, uh, in 2009, we uh, had that brand new facility in Horn Lake, Mississippi. We actually just built another brand new facility in Horn Lake, Mississippi. Uh, we're from that 36,000 to 50,000 square foot location. And again, the reason was that was for the growth of our students. Uh, you know, we kind of outgrew that old building, which was time for to build a new one, have some new updates, some new equipment, um, as well as uh, just, you know, accommodate for the growth that we had there at our Horn Lake, Mississippi campus. So overall, like I said, you can see we started with one program uh, with one school to now where we actually have six different locations with multiple different, uh, multiple different programs there. But again, to continue on who we are is MTI and D DTC is changing lives through workforce training by utilizing the high standards our programs are built on to ensure that students who are serious about learning a trade will have a legitimate chance to reach their career goals. Uh, and again, here's just our CEO and original co-founder, Brian Huff, uh, who talks a little bit about the job placement, how it's a robust part of what we do here, you know, which I'm gonna go a little bit more into detail here in just a second. So again, to talk about that placement rate, you know, MTI's mission is job placement, where we want our graduates in the workforce. As you can see here through this graph, our average job placement rate for Illinois campus was at 75%. 22 of our 26 programs had a job placement rate of 70% or higher. Out of, five, out of those 26 programs, five of those programs had a placement rate of 85% or higher. And all in all, 795 graduates were placed in a job within their field of study over last year. And as you can see here, uh, these are the five different programs we had here in Illinois that actually had a job placement rate of 85% or higher, uh, with 89% being our basic nursing assistant course at our East Peoria location, 88% for our welding program in Moline, 87% for our basic nursing assistant at Springfield, Illinois campus, 86% for our dental assisting program at East Peoria, and then 86% for our phlebotomy program at Springfield, Illinois. Again, out of all those numbers there, MTI's 2020 report to national creditors, AC, ACCSC, was based on the 26 programs in the 1,056 eligible graduates across our three campuses uh, here in Illinois. So as we talked a little bit about there, about the placement, kind of what we do, there's a lot more that we have here to offer here for our students. You know, and what I always like to really say is, you know, really helps them be successful here, you know, after such a, such a short time frame program. And that first one being is that relevant curriculum with no general education classes. You know, the programs we have here to offer, there are no specific gen ed courses like Math 101, English 101, or Speech 101. Um, I like to call it focus training. You know, you wanna be a welder, you wanna be a medical assistant, whatever it might be. Uh, we're gonna teach you exact, those exact skills that you need in order to be successful here uh, in such a short time frame program. Because as you can see, most of our programs can be completed in less than a year. But as well as with that is our instructors actually have real world experience. And with our accreditation, they actually have to have a minimum of three years experience in order for them to come back and be an instructor. But one of the most important things here that I always like to point out is our hands-on training in the labs that simulate real working environments. Uh, I talk to high school kids all the time or just parents in general, um, you know, but about that hands-on experience. You know, students can learn in a classroom, you know, listen to lecture and all that different stuff, but really what helps them out is when they're able to go out there into a lab or out there in the, in the on the work site or whatever it might be, and actually physically do these different things. Um, it really helps our students um, to really be able to get that experience here. So whenever they leave here, hey, they are ready to go out there um, and get a, get a career started right away. But MTI and DTC, is, as well as is nationally accredited by, again, the ACCSC, 
And again, MTI and DTC is a military friendly school. So if someone goes off, you know, and completes their service, uh, you know, we do accept different GI uh, bills, you know, VA benefits and different things like that uh, for students as well after their completion of their service. And then again, I know I touched on a little bit, but again, it's not just about job placement assistance, but it's about the lifetime job placement assistance that's available for those students who qualify. Um, you know, again, we can never guarantee a student anything, um, you know, with a job or, you know, place them here or whatever it might be. Uh, but we, we want to do anything our part to help them out. You know, whether it's helping with, you know, a, a cover letter, you know, job leads, getting them prepared for a well test, uh, whatever it might be. You know, we want to make sure, you know, they feel confident and prepared in their skills. So, hey, they can go out there and be successful here after graduation. Let's kind of go hand in hand with that is, you know, here at MTI and DTC, we actually meet with local employers to enhance and develop MTI's curriculum and programs. These are what we call the program advisory committees. Uh, we usually host two or three a year. But it's where we bring outside uh, employers uh, to come here and talk to us about our program as well as see what we do in our program um, and really kind of help develop us, hey, what's changing out there? You know, what, what is something that's growing in the industry um, to help cater to our curriculum and what, what we teach to students uh, to be able to help or better prepare them, you know, if, what they're getting out there into uh, in the work field. But after we talk about all those different things, I, I always like to really kind of touch base on here is one of the unique approaches that we take here at MTI and DTC. Um, but student success is supported by an individualized approach from enrollment all the way through graduation. And as you can see here, very first thing starting off with our admissions team. Uh, admission reps help each individual student visualize their future through graduation, ultimately employment. Using the track your success exercise, the admission process includes a one-on-one -on -one meeting with their representative, a campus tour, as well as a consultation with financial aid uh, to see what they may qualify for. And then after that, we go on and go into the financial aid piece here where MTI provides personalized support in applying for federal financial aid and help with understanding all the funding options, including scholarship opportunities. MTI's financial aid team can assist students in person and virtually. I always like to say that's one of the unique things is, uh, you know, we have financial aid with us on hand every single day, um, but as well as they're equipped to meet with you virtually, to be able to help you out in completing an FSA ID or whether it's helping you completing the FAFSA application. Uh, we want to do anything our part to be able to help you out um, regardless of where you're wanting to go. But one of the other big pieces here is our student success specialist, where they provide ongoing support tailored to each student's needs, including tutoring, test taking strategies, life skills workshops, and resources to locate childcare, transportation, housing, and part-time jobs. So they play a very vital role, you know, in the student success by um, while they're here as a student, maybe hosting different workshops, you know, maybe helping them with uh, finding a part-time job or you know, how to fill out a resume and different things like that. They do a really good job of working with our students here um, on a hands-on basis there. And then again, last but not least, is our job placement assistance. But MTI's placement team identifies individual student strengths to match them with job opportunities. Qualified graduates have access to lifetime job placement assistance. MTI works to find employers locally, statewide, and or nationally allowing the student to explore op all options available to them. So again, you know, one of the very unique approaches is we want to be with the student when they very first walk in the door, but also help assist them all the way to the end, uh, ultimately to help that uh, piece that we can ultimately help them find a job uh, here after graduation. And as we kind of talk about the completion, you know, what we have here is typically, you know, the, when MTI and DT students, students graduate uh, with less student loan debt, um, as you can see here, for a typical for-profit college graduate, they could be looking around $40,000 in student loan debt on average. A public four-year university or college could be looking around $25,000 for a national average. Compared to an MTI and DTC graduate, um, again, they could be looking around $9,400 uh, for an average student loan debt here. And again, these are different numbers that we reported, but as well as, you know, where we've located with the Bureau of Labor and Statistics. So next is kind of talked about a little bit different things, you know, with, with our students and everything, but um, some of you guys may be aware and some of you may not, but I really had to cover, you know, some of the different programs we have here to offer because we offer a wide range of different programs here. Uh, and starting off here with our mechanical trades, we offer a few different welding programs, a journeyman welder one, as well as a journeyman welder two. But we also offer our HVAC R, MAR technician program. And then in our allied health, again, you know, you may have heard it earlier, but we offer from medical assisting, dental assisting, medical coding, phlebotomy, basic nursing assistant, uh, medical coding, massage therapy, and then even into our cosmetology programs. And then last but not least is our CDL and PTD uh, professional truck driving programs, uh, you know, to help, you know, meet that demand that's out there needed. Um, and one of the things I'm really gonna kind of get into here is about the programs we have here to offer, uh, they are in demand. Um, you know, they not only from a state 
standpoint, but as well as on a national scale as well here too. And this is what I mean. Uh, and again, these are different statistics we have pulled from the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, but uh, we, here at MTI and DTC, we're here meeting the expected demand. Uh, on the left-hand side there is the Illinois growth from your phlebotomist to medical assistants to dental assistants, but as well as you guys can even see there, the national uh, growth there for it. Uh, and the opportunities that are presented out there for students who maybe want to explore or get out into a career uh, such as one of these here in the allied health field. Then again here, uh, kind of with our more, more regards to our mechanical trades, but as well as our medical coding programs, again, you can see that Illinois growth, but again, on that national growth. Um, there's a lot of opportunity and great careers out there. Um, just like Lee stated earlier, you know, there is a demand out there needed for skilled trades. Um, and we are very honored and privileged here at MTI and DTC to uh, be able to help close that skills gap here. Um, you know, and that's one of the big things what we really cater here with our different programs, uh, you know, is the demand that's needed for them, but as well as the growth that's out there for them too. And again, these are different statistics here from our Bureau of Labor Statistics, as you can see at the bottom here. But now to kind of talk to you guys a little bit, you know, as maybe potential counselors, administrators, you know, teachers, uh, we partner with schools in a variety of different ways. Um, our high school representatives provide additional support to our local guidance counselors, graduation coaches, and social workers. But we also have resources to help your high school senior understand what options are available to them and what their path looks like after high school. As you can see here in this image is actually taken from one of our prezies that we actually do out in the high schools to you know high school classrooms. But just talking to kids in general, regardless if they're wanting to come to MTI or DTC or whatever school they're wanting to go, um, but really help them understand you know, what options are available to them. Uh, a lot of kids think that, hey, the only option I have available, available for me is college, uh, which isn't true. You know, college is a great option. However, there's plenty of other different options out there available to a potential student um, that, that they may want to explore, uh, that may match their skill set or their personality or whatever it might be. But we are committed to partnering with the faculty and administrators in our local high schools to help improve graduation rates for high school seniors. One exciting feature that we offer is our hands-on events, which allows high school seniors to get experience in a high-demand essential career this can really help guide a senior towards completion in graduation because they are finding their passion working toward a path after high school. Um, you know, we host a lot of different events on the high school side of things to really, again, um, get those kids excited, get them ready to go uh, for life after high school, um, you know, and really kind of push them to the end here uh, for graduation. As well as another exciting piece here on the high school side of things is our high school senior scholarship. But MTI and DTC has awarded more than $5.2 million to students through our scholarship programs. Our scholarships are geared towards high school seniors interested in a trade school or a career in a, an essential field after high school here at MTI and DTC. Uh, this is such a unique and awesome time here, you know, as we get closer towards the end of the high school year. But, you know, a lot of my representatives are out and about right now uh, giving scholarships to high school students. And as you guys can see there in the pictures, we go surprise them. Uh, whether it's at a senior award ceremony, whether it's working with their parents and their favorite teacher at the school or at their graduation. Uh, we like to make it a very special moment because this is something these kids really worked hard for. Um, and we're, we're honored and happy uh, to be a part of that in their special day as they walk across stage. Um, but look forward to them, you know, coming to us here at MTI and DTC and, um, you know, help get them those next steps after high school, uh, get them to a career that they love. Uh, these opportunities can provide additional support and help keep students actively engaged uh, throughout high school. Um, so to kind of go on with that a little bit here as well as our talk spoke a little bit about it earlier is the different hands-on events we have here uh, throughout our campus our campuses where every year we actually host a welding competition um, not only does every participant receive a $500 scholarship but the top three winners also receive major scholarships to attend our school uh, this is an all-day event again for parents instructors and participants but it's a great opportunity for high school seniors to showcase their skills. Um, you know, what they've been working on maybe for one or two, three, or even four years in high school. But to come here and put it to the test, maybe it's against the best kids in Illinois uh, or Missouri or Mississippi, whatever it might be. But we also host a Liberty Smile competition at each one of our locations, which is a science fair project approach geared towards high school seniors interested in the healthcare industry. This edu comp educational competition also awards scholarships to participants and winners. And then last but not least, our career nights. Uh, this is one of the most exciting events we offer throughout the year. High school seniors and their parents get the opportunity to work up close in the lab with our instructors in their chosen field. Again, whether that's for medical assisting, you know, welding, HVAC. But these career nights are developed for high school seniors who maybe don't know what they want to get into yet. Or maybe they've thought of a career in medical assisting or as a welder, but they've never actually physically done it in high school, never had the chance. Well, here where they can come, you know, three times a year 
uh, to our facilities uh, and actually get that hands-on experience and really see if this is something that they enjoy. Um, we've had anywhere up for upwards of close to 50 to 60 high school kids at one of our career nights before getting that hands-on experience. So it, it's a lot of fun. It's a great opportunity. Parents and students really enjoy it because it really helps paint that picture if this is a great career for their son or daughter. But not only do we partner with the schools, a big piece that we play here is actually in with the community as well. Uh, and MTI and DTC plays an active role in the community where we've partnered with organizations such as IJAG, you know, donating salon services to make prom special for lower income high school seniors. We provide an array of salon services for Tim Tebow's charity foundation, Night to Shine. But we've also been a collection site for coat donations for those in need, held book pack drives for school aged kids to help sponsor to be a part of many other community focused partnerships. But as you can see, building strong ties with the community and finding opportunities to support those in need are two important initiatives for MTI and DTC. Um, and that was just to name a few. You know, we've done a lot of other different things out in the community at all of our different campuses. Uh, worked with the Chamber of Commerce. We've held different events on site. Um, you know, we've partnered with schools for FAFSA nights and different things like that. Um, it's a lot of fun and we take a lot of pride in being a big piece of not only with the schools, but in our communities as well. But before I let you guys go, um, you know, at MTI and DTC, we, we not only want to partner, but support the faculty in our local high schools. We know that sharing our resources will help seniors choose a path that is right for them after high school. Again, even if that path is not MTI and DTC. Providing additional support, sharing best practices, you know, how to keep student engaged, career exploration events can lead to higher persistence in graduation rates. One of the most rewarding parts of us is being able to deliver a scholarship to a high school senior who may have never thought college was ever an option. Uh, we are ready to work with you to help you achieve your goals and to help you overcome the challenges you face. Again, you know, I can't thank you guys enough as teachers, administrators, counselors, uh, you know, for educating uh, students and giving them the potential option of looking into skilled trades and, you know, life after high school and everything. Uh, we would love to be a part of that and help with you guys in any way, whether that's, you know, helping them come to an event with us, helping us complete a FAFSA, maybe come to a classroom and presenting with you guys. Um, we really, really, really enjoy talking to the high school seniors. Um, and as you guys can read there, we always talk about, you know, work hard, uh, but dream big as well. Um, and we're lucky to be a part of uh, the education side and be able to help high school seniors uh, get into a high skill trade um, after high school. So thank you. All right. Thank you. We are now going to open this up for the Q&A portion of our presentation. So if you have a question for Louis, please feel free to type it into the Q&A feature in the Zoom meeting, either on the top or the bottom of your screen there. Um, <clears throat> Louis, this first person wants to know, uh, if they wanted to contact one of the uh, MTI or DC, DTC representatives, should they just go to the website or should they contact you directly? How should they Either way. It? Either way. They can go to our website, um, but I would uh, probably say the easiest would be to send me an email um, and I would be able to get to the, the local high school rep representative in your area uh, to best reach you and help you guys with your needs, whether that's presenting or whatever it might be. Uh, we would be more than happy to do so. Yeah, and I would also just add that we will be including Louis' contact information uh, along with the recording of this presentation that we send to you tomorrow morning. Um, so feel free to reach out to Louis there. Uh, the next question has to do with uh, events coming up. I know you spent some time talking about some of the events that you have done and, and things that you do with uh, Tebow, and, uh, but do you have any events coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks here? Um, unfortunately, we do not have any uh, other high school events coming up. Um, as of right now or any other just events on campus um, as of right now at this time here over the summer. Gotcha, okay. Um, and are there any GPA or uh, SAT score requirements to get into MTI or DTC? That's a great question. There are no GPA or ACT or SAT requirements uh, that, are, uh, that are needed. However, um, a student must have a high school diploma or GED uh, in order to take one of our programs here. Okay, all right. Um, Okay, I think that does it for the questions. Um, just a few house cleaning items here. I uh, just wanna let everybody know that we have recorded this session. We will be sending it to you tomorrow morning with Louie's contact information. Uh, there is also a survey when you leave this meeting. It's about four questions long. If you wouldn't mind answering those questions for us, it just really helps us better understand was there anything that we missed during the presentation that you would have liked to have heard about? Uh, any feedback you could provide would be helpful to us. But before closing, I just want to thank all of our participants for taking time out of their busy schedules to join us today. And I'd also like to thank Louie for sharing with us today's presentation and encourage you to contact him directly with any future questions you may have. On behalf of the Imagine America Foundation, Louie and myself, 
I want to thank you and wish you the great rest of your day. Goodbye. <clears throat>